Hey folks, doing Hero of None here with your Mudis Minute for February 28th, 2020. News, luxury merchant, and gold merchant stuff all in a few minutes. So first up in the news, the new Harrowstorm and Update 25 is now live on PC and it will be coming to console on March 10th for Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Uh, this update brings in two new dungeons and also a slew of new changes, fixes, and some optimizations for the game. Now, a note, there are people that are crashing right now for various reasons. Uh, one thing I can recommend, if you're having crashes, turn off your add-ons and see if that makes it more stable. A lot of folks that I've talked to have turned add-ons off and a lot of them be using old add-ons which just simply were not made for this current patch. There are a ton of add-ons out there that have been made and updated for this patch, but maybe stop using the ones that are out of date and it, you have to check the little checkbox saying to use that out of date ones and look for new add-ons if they just don't work. Uh, there is another bug out there right now though that will crash you every time that you go near a keep and it's getting under attack. Uh, not quite clear on what that caused it, causing that, but Zoss is aware of it and they are working on a fix, but there is no ETA on a when a fix will occur. Now, also with update 25, they have released the new performance improvements coming up in update 26 and update 27. They are currently on track and update 26 will include server optimization and stability, client optimization and stability, uh, previously named frame rate improvements phase two and uh, behind the scenes combat ability improvements phase three. Update 27 will include server optimization and stability and more client optimization and stability. So those are coming on the horizon, but I have to say, given the latest patch here, I've actually been pretty stable myself. I have not been going into Cyrodiil, of course, and I've turned off all my old add-ons and I haven't, I've actually seen an improvement on FPS. So guys, make sure again, Turn out those old add-ons, maybe avoid Cyrodiil. Battlegrounds and Imperial City still work pretty well. And just enjoy the patch and probably the new dungeons while you're at it. Also this weekend, uh, 2 p.m. Uh, on the Bethesda channel, you will see a live panel from PAX East for ESO. Uh, I don't have any other news for that. It really wasn't posted up there, but it was on the PAX schedule. So looking forward to a little bit more information on that. Let us take a look at the Luxury Merchant and the Gold Merchant for this week. Mm -mm -mm. Want to load? There we go. So this week, a bunch of Alien Constellation tiles. These are interesting. So you can form your own puzzle and confuse your friends. They do not light up, however, which I, I find disappointing. And on the Gold Merchant this week, for 150k, Ring of the Flanking, Stamina, Weapon Critical, the Weapon Damage, and add 400 damage uh, to your abilities and you attack an enemy from behind or the sides. Uh, this was interesting when they updated it, but now that there's other sets out there that just simply do more damage, <laughs> aka New Moon, uh, not as great anymore. I would not recommend this. Uh, probably look for a different set. Uh, Ring of Martial Knowledge. Max Magica, spell damage, spell damage. And we use a stamina ability when you're below 50%. Your light attacks uh, cause an enemy to take 8% additional damage for five seconds. So that can occur once every eight seconds. Weird set because you're stacking up spell damage, but while you're using stamina, while your stamina is below 50%, your light attacks cause the enemy to take 8% additional damage. Yeah, I don't really like roll dodge a bunch and then you're taking more damage, but even then. I probably wouldn't recommend this. Even on a tank. For 250k, Plague Singer Rings. Weapon damage, max health, weapon damage. When you take damage, you summon a Skeever Corpse to launch five poison fire uh, poison balls over five seconds that deal 6,862 uh, 6, poison damage to the nearest enemy. If I concur once every five seconds. Uh, this comes out of scale color keep. It's probably easier to get to any of the purple version of this. Uh, and a gen generally, I would not pay. I would not pay 250k for the gold version of this. Just go ahead, and do do the DLC dungeon. If you do not have the DLC, I still want to pick this up. 
And finally, uh, for 250k, Bark Skin Ring, max health, stamina recovery, armor, and reducing the duration of immobilizations and snares applied to you by 50%. When immobilization and snares applied to you, heal for 200 health and a 1,000 stamina. This so I can occur once every five seconds. Not a great set. For 250k, it's, it's really rip off. Don't bother. Uh, I think this one comes out of green shade as well. If you really want to try it, maybe for the purple. But even that, I just, it's not a great, uh, it's just not great right now. Finally, for 100k, Joke Thorn Arm Cops, which can be used for healer builds, and Pirate Skeleton Arm Cops, which can be used for kind of tanky builds inside PvP. Uh, again, shoulders, don't bother spending the gold. Just go spend the keys. Gamble it away. Just do a few dungeons, get the keys, and try getting it from the coffers instead. All right. That's here of none. That's your Mona's Minute. See you all on Tamriel. Meow, meow, meow.